Somebody asked me recently, how do you register global components using Quasar version 2? Um, and there is a slight little difference in the way that you would usually approach this. And so I thought I'd do a quick video, um, seeing if I remember, first of all, how to do it. Um, I'm not sure I do. But then um, second of all, um, yeah, <laughs> showing you how to do it. So let's CD into this global components directory that I created. And then we'll open that in Visual Studio Code. This is just a Quasar project. So now I can say Quasar dev here, and we're going to create a boot file by saying Quasar new boot, and we'll call this um, register global components. That's probably a good name for it. And there we go. That's our dev server. I'll keep those docs there. Jump out of full screen, whack this on the side, and now we can hide some things off. Uh, we can hide that off too. So let's jump into register global components, and we're actually going to need a component to register. So let's say Quasar new component, and we'll call this global component. Jump into there, and then we'll say here, I am available everywhere. Save that, so we've got our component now. And the next thing I wanna do is actually register it in this boot file. But before I do that, I'm gonna to go to quasar.conf and use this boot file, just in case I forget that later on. And what did we call it? We called it register global components. So register global components. Save that, let's see if it works. Looks like it did, so it's picking up that boot file correctly. Now I can come in here um, and we wanna pull out app. And if I console.log this, I'm pretty sure that app from memory is just our view application. So let's jump up here, open the console. And we've got an object here which is our view application. In fact, I think what you might be able to do is even just import view and do it directly up there. But anyway, let's try it this way. We can say app dot, I think it's register component or, or component. Man, I haven't done like normal view code in such a long time. And what do we call it? We call it global component. So let's say here global component, uh, and then we pass it through that component. So here we can say import global component from components slash global component dot view. So there we go. We're going to say app dot component to register a new component. We'll call it global component and then just pass it the component itself. So let's save that, jump into our index file, index dot view, and see if we can just use that now. We'll say here global component. Oops, it auto imported it for me, but we don't want that. So let's save that. And there we go, I am available everywhere. So in order to do this, let's run through what we did. Uh, we created this new global component, and we also created a boot file called register global components. Inside of this boot file, by the way, we enabled it inside of um, quasar.conf. Inside of this boot file, we then import that component that we want to be global everywhere, and then we use it by saying app.component, and then pass it through. So this is the key right here. Um, knowing that this is your view application and then calling dot component and passing through the component like so. So hopefully this was um, helpful and thank you very much to the person that asked this question. I'll see you guys in a later video. Oh, and by the way, check out quasarcast.com slash register if you like this kind of thing so that I can give you more of this stuff um, and help you learn Quasar. Um, I really love uh, building these videos and helping out the community. So definitely check that out, quasarcast.com slash register and I'll talk to you all soon.